today we are going to talk about uh, the ccsp exam and uh, i believe the audience uh, what we have uh, must be aware uh, what exam we are talking about and i will run you through on the key areas which are covered under this exam and uh, how to prepare for this exam with my personal experience now get your ccsp so how to prepare for it so before we jump on uh, this this is the agenda for today so what is ccsp the domains how to prepare what are the resources and my own journey uh, which i did for my ccsp preparation so before we start on ccsp the quick refresher on cloud so today cloud is used by everybody to start it costs you nothing and someone takes care of everything for you it is always there it is safe now when we say safe okay attackers never rest so you will agree that uh, they keep on you know uh, finding uh, find out uh, new ways on attack and uh, now along with the conventional systems they have got cloud to do their experiment as more and more organizations are adopting cloud new complexities and challenges are coming and this is where uh, ic square along with uh, the the csa has come out with this course on getting you certified on the cloud security so what is ccsp it's certified cloud security professional it's a joint certification of ic square and csa which is a cloud security alliance and the ccsp applies for information security expertise to a cloud and it gives you assurance on the generic security requirements on architecture design operations and service orchestration so when a successful candidate he uh, he want to pass out ccsp he has to be competent in the six domains of the cloud operations so how do you start it requires you to have a minimum five years of experience in information security any of the domains which we are going to discuss uh, after this the exam length is of three hours and you have a 125 multiple choice questions the passing grade is 700 out of uh, thousand points and uh, if anybody has attempted uh, CISSP, this exam is not getting, uh, you know, uh, over once you achieve 700. So you have to attempt all 125 questions and you have a time of three hours. The exam availability as now, as of now is in English and you can book it online through the ISC square. So let's start with CCSP domains. Uh, as of now, anybody is having any doubts or should I continue? Okay, let's get going. So out of these six domains are architectural concept and design requirements, cloud data security, cloud platform and infrastructure security, cloud application security, operations, legal and compliance so to for any person to have a, a, a certification you need experience in any of these domains or otherwise you can get yourself registered as an associate and you gain this experience and then you get certified as ccsp the other way is if you are already a ciss you can go ahead and appear for this exam without any pre-qualification requirements so in domain one what is that we cover 
we cover the architectural concepts and design requirements of cloud so it gives you like you know what are the basic cloud computing concepts what are the cloud cloud reference architecture what is security concept relevant to cloud computing so in in this you know you get cryptography the key management access control data and media sanitization something like this design principles of secure cloud computing in which you know you get the cloud secure data life cycle cloud based disaster recovery and business continuity because that is again a requirement still remains even if you are on cloud and trusted cloud services in domain 2 we get into the cloud data security now this becomes kind of a joint responsibility between a cloud provider and the cloud customer so it goes into the cloud data cycle cloud data storage architectures you know uh, because in cloud your your data is dispersed it's not uh, sitting in any uh, single place so your security challenges are increasing data discovery and classification design implement relevant jury, uh, jurisdictional data protection for the personally identifiable information now this is a really emerging challenge because with the new rules coming on data protection like gdpr now even in india the, the data protection rule is coming uh, out by this year end so this is something which is really a challenge from a cloud practitioner perspective that where exactly your data is getting stored and how you are going to get uh, the data secured because ultimately uh, even if you are storing your data on premise or you are storing it on cloud the the customer is the uh, ultimate responsible person for the security of data you cannot pass this on the uh, the cloud provider so how do you manage your uh, data rights how do you manage your data retention policies your auditability traceability of the data especially from a cloud perspective is covered in domain 2 in domain 3 it's more towards you know the cloud platform and information security because as a customer still we have the requirement that we make sure that the cloud infrastructure components are secured what are the various risks which are uh, associated with the cloud infrastructure how do you plan your security uh, in cloud and how do you plan your uh, dr and business continuity in cloud because when you are in cloud and uh, when your data is already in a dispersed you are in a high availability mode still you need to plan your uh, uh, disaster recovery from a process perspective so if if uh, something goes wrong with the cloud provider how are you going to secure your business or how do you make it up uh, in a applicable uh, recovery uh, time objective so when you go to domain 4 this is one of the most important uh, uh, domain so it is about the training and awareness to the uh, staff or the employees who are working with you because it's it's a different uh, way of working when you are especially working on cloud the way you access or to uh, the way you connect to the cloud how do you assure the cloud softwares how do you validate uh, especially if you are purchasing the uh, software as a service so how do you verify the security how do you make sure that the software development life cycle is properly followed how do you apply the secure uh, architecture on these kind of ready made products how do you assess and how do you manage the identity and access management for your entire cloud base is covered in domain 
then we go to domain five which covers mainly on the operations of uh, cloud once you have architected so how do you uh, uh, plan for uh, the data center design uh, this is mainly this this domain covers from the cloud provider perspective so how is the data center design done how is how is it built and uh, operated how the infrastructure is managed how the connectivity is given what are the various risks on the logical and the physical infrastructure how how is it you know uh, the multi tenancy is managed how the connectivity risks are uh, mitigated these are covered in domain 5 this is one of the uh, uh, i'll say the small domain but very important domain in uh, ccsp uh, which pertains to the legal and compliance requirements on cloud as as uh, many of you are already aware that on cloud you you do not have control on where exactly your data is going to sit unless it is contracted and documented properly with a cloud service provider so it is very important for you to know that where is your data stored is it compliant with your local uh, legal regulations what kind of uh, legal regulations you are covered what jurisdictions you are there so for example if you are dealing with any european uh, customers then you are bound to follow the gdpr processes so it's it's very important when you are evaluating and setting up a cloud to know that what areas or what uh, jurisdictions you are selecting to host your cloud what are the audit processes methodologies that are required because you will ultimately need the support from a cloud provider to complete that what are the outsourcing or the uh, contra contractual designs of cloud and how is the vendor management done by the cloud service provider so how to prepare so these are this is something uh, CCSP is not as matured as CISSP from a, from a resources perspective as of today, but still uh, uh, there, there are quite a few books which are available. The way I prepared, I would suggest that these are certain books. Uh, this is the cloud uh, security uh, guidance, which is uh, provided by the Cloud Security Alliance, that is TSA. Then there is an official study guide, which is provided by uh, the IIC Square. There are certain uh, modules which are uh, not covered, like domain four especially. I'll say that uh, you should study from the all-in-one. And there are certain concepts which are explained very well in CCSP dummies. So these are certain books which are very important. And apart from that, the NIST, the NIST documentation for cloud computing, and the ISO uh, 17789 standard is something which we have to be thorough with. So these are important books which you need to refer. And uh, when you study, uh, as per as per the normal thing, I, I'm I'm not sure about everyone, but I have studied these books. Uh, each book for two times for a selective domains for practice exams i have referred the ccsp official practice test and the ccsp practice exams and the most important uh, book which has supported is the the free book which is available uh, by uh, which is written by prashant mohan called Cirrus. It's, it's a fantastic book for your revision and last minute review uh, before you just appear for an exam. It's, it's a, a nice summary of all the domains. So how I prepared for CCSP was I 
first i completed my cissp and i was of the opinion that after completing my cissp uh, ccsp will be a cake walk uh, from all in one you have to uh, refer domain 4 if you want i can i can give you exactly which uh, particular uh, topics you have to cover from all in one okay so uh, after CISSP, when I, I started uh, studying, I saw that in CCSP, there are certain concepts which are very different and very difficult to understand. So I took a training from InfoSec. My preparation time uh, for CCSP was three months. And uh, as, a, as a prerequisite for my own SEC, I did my AWS uh, solution architect certification uh, before i appeared for the exam it gave me a lot of clarity on the cloud concepts and you know how how the uh, architecture on cloud and how the connectivity security configurations work it was a hands-on practice for me and i practiced almost 2000 plus questions that was the way i prepared uh, and I spent a lot of time in revising the key concepts like, you know, uh, the multi tenancy. What is what is the difference on uh, different different uh, frameworks? That helped me a lot. That is how I prepared. 